Welcome back everyone. I know it's been a very long time since I posted a video, but here I am, we're back again with another first hour playthroughs. Today, we're gonna go over the Stout Axe. Now let's get to it. Now, thanks to the recent Ultimate Free-to-Play update, the High Elf, the Bjorning, and of course, in today's video, the Stout Axe are all free to all players. So, grab your Stout Axe and pick an available class and let's get into it. You start out as a prisoner in Baradur with your cellmates Lethi and Vasky. They urge you to finish the plate of rations to keep your strength up for what lies ahead. As you finish your rations, you feel some deep tremors rumble underneath your feet. Vasky then begins telling you and Lethi about a certain wretched creature the Dark Lord is holding captive. I'll give you one guess to who it is. He goes on and says that this is your opportunity to rise up and slay your captors and escape. Lethi, unfortunately, is not so optimistic and shoots down the idea. After a tense moment of silence, you all notice the tremors have ceased, after which you all turn in for the night. However, as you start to fall asleep, a banging on your cell bar startles you awake. A familiar prison guard releases you and tells you to get to work. He has five tasks you must complete for your daily chores around the dungeons. Such as collecting all the dirty plates, killing all the wandering rats and maggots, collecting crude iron and taking them to the forge, breaking up the fallen rubble, and delivering barrels of weapons and armor to the Uruk captain. Now, once all these tasks are finished, you must go and present yourself before Zoreth, who basically is in charge of the dungeons. As you stand before him, he looks you over and sends you to meet with the mouth of Sauron. As you reach the top of the dungeon, you come across your cellmate standing amidst the slaughtered Uruks and Orcs. Now, this is the final mission of your introduction, so be sure you have everything else finished because you will not be able to go back and do them. As you talk with Lethe, the fighting has already begun. All the prisoners have escaped and are fighting their way through their captors to freedom. All of this can't be us. You come across several dead orcs and fellow stout axes. So you scavenge through the loose weapons to find something to fight with. As you fight your way through the orcs, you come across a pale creature. He briefly attacks you and runs off. As you go through a large set of doors, you come to an ominously quiet hallway. Uh, we're not far now. I fear the worst is still ahead of us.
As you venture forward, you gather some of the loose armor to disguise yourself to slip past any remaining orcs. You come to a long, stretched bridge, your gateway to freedom, with one large remaining orc in your way. He's standing over your other cellmate, ready to end him. As you approach, you attack the orc, and Lethe joins in. Basky then recovers and also joins in on the fight. As you are fighting the orc, your cellmates tell you to run and that they will find you later. As you are fleeing, you come across the pale creature again, who is also fleeing Baradur. You ran and ran, and finally escaped the Dark Tower. As some time has passed, you find yourself in the Blue Mountains among the Dower Hands. You had been telling them about your time as a prisoner in the Dark Tower, and how you had escaped. Nagli takes you aside to talk to Rethvard. But all of a sudden, Skorgrim arrives along with Ivar the Bloodhand. Skorgrim calls you near to listen to what he has to say. He goes on to say how he came back to life and how he plans to take revenge on the Longbeards. He also has plans to meet with the Witch King of Angmar and become allies to take back their land. You become quite uneasy from these plans and try to warn the others, but they are not swayed. However, Nagli does seem to share your concern. You travel with him to Thorn's Gate to meet with Dwalin. As you speak with Dwalin, he doesn't seem too eager to address the problem at the moment and sends you to find your friend Nagli. As you find Nagli, he tells you that he is returning to the Blue Mountains and wishes you well on your own journey. After you finish talking with Nagli, you are released to start your questing journey in Ered Luin, and then the rest of Middle Earth. Now, this is only the first 30 minutes of gameplay. However, at this point, this part of the Stout Axe gameplay matches up perfectly with the Dwarven gameplay, so there's no need to go over it twice. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and be on the lookout for the next one coming very soon. Also, don't forget to check out the Instagram and the Patreon for some behind-the-scenes stuff that's not here on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.